from this. Do you remember that show? And it may still come on. I have no idea. It used to come on after wrestling back in the late 90s or maybe early 2000s. It was like this this arena where two people had like these robots and they would like battle each other. Battlebots. Is that okay? Is that yeah. still a thing? Yeah, that's still a thing. Wow. They just brought it back okay. for another season. Like, uh, I don't even know. Not that long ago. Um, I'm surprised that's still a thing. That's. Pr I mean, hey man, yeah. that's cool. And you know what? Love it. And you're right, guys. It was Troa. Troa Barton was his name. And he, <laughs> that was his Gundam. Look at that. You know what? Yeah. I loved it. That's that's how it is. And we're in there. We're going yes, right we are. into it. Yes, we We're are. We're talking about Gundam Wing and BattleBots and just nerding out over here, and these guys are getting ready to go to war. It's good filler, man. <laughs> it's good filler just to wait for these guys to get in here and get situated. We got Shinnok versus, uh, ooh, Crystalline Trimmer. This is interesting. Destroyer does have a very solid Head trimmer. Down but... one grab. Oh, it doesn't doesn't spin the bar. He had the bar to extend that combo. And he does this time. Now we, at least in the combat cup, we've seen Lion pick Shinnok, and he'll lose and go straight to Scorpion. We'll see how it pays off here. Ooh, that mix. I mean, he is going up against Circuit Destroyer, who has been playing him too. He's been playing on a whole other level. Yeah, him and Silver Eye, in my opinion, were the two, like, MVPs of NEC. Oh, absolutely. And you know what? They, it was, truth be told, it was both at the exact same time that they both decided they're going to step up. You're right. You're exactly right, actually. Right? Like, all of a sudden, it's like both these guys doing it. And I wish we could have seen, if there was one thing that I could complain about with the NEC, I wish we could have seen more of Destroyer's pop-offs, because a lot of times, you know, we would have to catch it from somebody that recorded it that was there or something like that. Didn't get to see enough of those things because they cut the cameras. Yeah, they but didn't Destroyer, he is I going. was the guy sitting at home. <laughs> and I was like, they're talking about these pop-offs. I'm like, I don't, I don't get to see it. Exactly. And Destroyer becoming one of the guys that everybody loves to see pop off. Oh, he tried to go with the forward one anti-air. That would have closed it out, and that armor does. We may see line switch to Scorpion here. Oh, I'm sure of it. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure of it. But even Scorpion, he's got the armor on the takedown to get him, to help him out of some of those rushdown cancel situations from Destroyer. But when he has that flex on, the best thing you can do if Trimmer has that flex up, if he knocks you down and he flexes up, you got to find a way to hit twice. And some of, depending on your character, some of the best ways to do that is like a down one into a into a safe special. Uh, just just to get it off and be safe. You, if if you're poking, you're gonna get punished because you're gonna just shatter him, and then he's gonna just you go essentially full with, combo. exactly. You want to hit him twice, any way you can. So, basically, when you're po if you try and poke him and you're playing that poke game back and forth, it's you break his armor, but because he you broke his armor, he has hit advantage. So he can just go into strings carefree. He, you, he gets you, even though you actually hit, he's punishing your recovery. Because you shatter him, but he can he can just go straight into buttons. Yep. Now, I'm pretty sure what's been going on, because every pick I've made so far, I think this person's going to switch to this, or I think this person's going to switch to that. It's like they're waiting to hear what I say on stream. So that they can just go, <laughs> I'm going to show mindset, watch this. <laughs> you know what, man? You're like the owner of CR. Nobody can touch that. <laughs> it doesn't matter what they say. <laughs> I'm just some dude that likes to watch Mortal Kombat and Justice, man. <laughs> they got to hold that, man. Nobody but you has CR. And he may actually chip line. Lion oh. is Cassie right now, and I've never seen him pick Cassie. But... I know why he didn't go Scorpion because he only has armor takedown. That's true. Fight. That's a good point. Th and that flex, man. I got caught with the mix. If he would have blocked that, he could have turned around. Oh man. Good read. I mean you had no choice. 
Yeah, you. Oh! Yo, he's just getting overwhelmed. Oh! oh that was his chance, and that's a punish! Man, that's what we like to call a hood perfect, man. Damn. Essentially, yep. Yeah. 99.99% health. Wow. Pay your respects. Lion, I, I know what he was going oh, for. Defender. And I, I like this kid, Lion, man. He's another up and coming player that's consistent. Now, he might not be the best on the block, but he is he is a consistent, fairly top, like I would say top 16 ish to, to just right there at that, at that cusp of top eight most of the times. Um, I don't know all the characters he plays. I didn't even know he played Cassie. I didn't know he but, played Cassie either. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> true story. I remember <clears throat> Lion from forever and a day ago. Um, back when the Yomi CR thing was like still a thing. Oh, okay. Yeah. The you big rivalry. Yep. Um, and like early, early on MKX before you know we even before CR was CR. Um. And he was hitting me up in DMs, always asking me questions, and I didn't really know who he was. And it's awesome to see him, <laughs> like, you know, see him out there now, and like yeah. see the name, and see him really. He's obviously been doing grinding. Like, that's how you get better at this game. That's what you got to do, and he's doing it. And if it wasn't for things like the conquest and combat cup, you know, we may not have been able to see this guy play as much as we have lately. Exactly right. That is exactly right. Oh, very nice. Empty teleport. And that forward two, if he can get that out, that is going to help him against that flex. Oh. Oh. Mm. If he was Hellfire, maybe down one into Hellfire would have worked. Like anything just to get those two hits. It seems like he doesn't know the matchup super well. It's, it's a killer, man. Crystalline, it, it, once he gets going, you it, it's really hard to get the momentum back. That's a good grab. Oh, another Very grab. nice. Wow. And yeah, that back four does hit twice. So even if he had flex, like, it would have broke it. This this is good. This is good for Lion right now. Oh, Very nice so throw again. Good. He's making adjustments. Yes, he is, and I He's like it. He's totally making adjustments. Final round, fight. Oh, and gets caught. Tried to get the four-two out. He's not. He's not flexed up yet. You don't have to take those risks until. You, and yeah, there he is. This could be bad. He has no meter. And destroyer's got all the meter. Very nice! At that forward two, you can see he broke it, and now he gets the combo. Smart. Oh, Ooh, it's a low! That be a... Oh my god, the it's dirty a stuff. It's a low. Oh, mm. man. <laughs> oh, your man. I haven't seen that brutality in so long. Yeah, I, mm. honestly, I can't even tell you the last time I saw that brutality. <laughs> it's been that long. Combat cast. <laughs> Jesus. Destroy your good stuff, lion.